guys, it's Rika May H. La Fuente, ang inyong vlogger, ang vlogger ko, no hi. So, our topic for today is all about effective interpersonal communication. So, what is effective interpersonal communication, guys? Are you ready to find out? Well, Project Money, wala kay laing buhaton, kundi maminaw o gmutanaw. Okay, let's find out. According to my research, effective interpersonal communication involve both social understanding, recognizing the process, and lastly social skills. Did you know that interpersonal communication is very essential for the success of any organization? We need to have a good interpersonal skills so that we can respond or react towards that person. So here are the five things you need to remember. First, social perception. Social perception is all about how person A reacts the behavior and characteristic of person B. Second, social identity. Social identity is all about how person A sees him or herself in terms of their rule and status in life. Number three, coding. Coding is how person A and B choose to express themselves. Number four, the nature of business. So in business, it always includes both information and relationship aspect. Last but not the least, the influence of social context. So what is social context? Social context is an important influence on our behavior. According to Michael Argy, he developed the analogy between motor or physical skills and social skills. So here are the five facts as in FACTS that you need to know. First is goal. You need to decide what do you want to achieve. Second, perception. You need to perceive what is going on around you. Third, translation. You have to translate of what you want to do. Fourth, responses. Even if you have the correct idea of what you need to do, can you physically do it? Fifth, Feedback. If you talk to someone, can you accurately interpret the feedback you receive? Number one, nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication is all about facial expression, gestures, and postures. Number two, reinforcement. Reinforcement uses reinforcing behavior, includes head nods and saying uh uh. Number three, questioning. Questioning is asking question. Kumusta imong quarantine seats? Number four, reflecting. Often used by counselor who have to conduct a very personal interview. Number five. Opening and closing. You need to establish the beginning and closing of a particular transaction. Hello, love, goodbye. Number six, listening. It recognizes and adopt your attending skills. Listen to the radio. Number seven, self-disclosure. Self-disclosure is more about a process of sharing information about yourself with other people. Number eight, assertiveness. Assertiveness develops our social skills. Number nine, group interaction and leadership. Are you good singing away? Number ten, humor and laughter. <laughs> According to Eric Bernie, transaction is the basic unit of social interaction. A simple transaction from me and a response from you. So here are the two types of ulterior transaction which you need to analyze at two levels. First, social level. Social level is usually adult to adult transaction. Number two, 
psychological level. Psychological level is more on reflecting how people really feel. According to two Americano, Richard Bandler and John Grender, there are only three things you need to communicate. First, the idea of outcome what you want. Number two, flexible behavior. Number three, the ability to respond you are getting from other people. To sum it up, interpersonal communication must be effectively handled to ensure the attainment of organization's goals. For the reason, it plays a vital role in the fulfillment of all marketing objectives. And that would be the end of our discussion. Salamat sa pagtanaw mga ka-vlogger. That would be all. Thank you and God bless.